The dog. For the last 17,000 years, man's best friend. The brainiac. Since the dawn of time, no friends. But forget that. Today we want to know who's better at getting these into this. Brainiac or beast? <laughs> Presenting beasts this week, the dog comes in at 18.1 kilos and measures 69 centimetres, whereas the Brainiac stands at 174 centimetres and weighs in at 81.4 kilos. Don't forget our dog has four legs whilst our Brainiac just two. First up, it's Beast. He's using a specially trained human to communicate positional information through a series of grunts and whistles. Using a modified predatory behaviour, Dog is able to stare down the sheep, intimidating them into going in the right direction. Brainiac is looking worried, and I'm not surprised. With all the sheep in the pen, it's a perfect round for the dog. Can Brainiac do any better? Dog, dog! With a vocabulary of 83 words, communication isn't much of a problem for Brainiac. But his low speed and poor manoeuvrability compared with the dog are letting him down. Sheep love to flock, which the dog used to his advantage. Brainiac, however, is splitting them up and making things worse. Dad! 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 After three hours, the Brainiac manages to trap a sheep using his fully rotational upper limbs. Go on! Good boy, good boy. All right! Dad! 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 Yeah! yeah. One down, five to go. Oh, looks like it's going to be a long day. So in Brainiac v Beast, this week we have a clear winner, Beast.